Are you having one of those days? When you can't figure where to find love or whether the love you have is really love? When you can't seem to find your own place in this vast universe? When you don't have control over everything that's happening to you and nothing goes your way? When you realize you are not who you wanted to be? The Girl Oracle deck is here to serve as your guide. Each card will guide your spirits towards the answers you are looking for, or path you are meant to walk, or truths you have to realize and live. Whether it's love, relationships, dreams, enemies, or other struggles you face as you journey to your destiny, let the Girl Deck by Sal be your guide. Come and join me at my first meetup in Los Angeles and let's explore the girl deck together. Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. We're doing your weekly. This is your Feb 1 to 7. Um, it's gonna be a little different because I'm I'm not at the studio, so the weeklies are not gonna be the the um, the three cards. Um, it's just gonna be the same as the dailies, okay? Because um, I wasn't able to pack everything. But this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is your February 1 to 7. Okay, here we go for the Aries. Let me see here. Aries, February 1 to 7. Got a page of cups. Um, so this is looking at the situation. Oh, I hope you guys can see it. Later it's going to focus though. Mm, it takes some time. Okay, so we'll focus on the card. Uh, we'll focus on on this energy. So Page of Cups is an energy where um, someone is uh, trying to show you some sort of affection. Um, you look at them as something that is different also. Um, the Page of Cups is the time where you look at the reality of situation where is this how much it can be or this is how much it can grow because it's not much you know so the reality of it Someone can be giving you some sort of. I'll go closer. Someone can give you can be giving you closer. Uh, can be can be giving you attention, affection. But is this how far it it can go? Okay, let me just move to see. Okay, now let me see the other person because this is about just i uh, um, being realistic. I feel you know it's like you're just uh, looking at it already that they have been showing this kind of connection for quite some time. They're messaging you, or this is the message that you got. But because here it's very interesting, hopefully it will focus. It's just admiring this little octopus over here. Oh, and there, it's just showing affection. So they could be showing affection to you for quite for quite some time now. Okay, let me see other person. Guy nine of cups, and it, it does make you happy. Okay, here. It does make you happy with the Nine of Cups. It shows, um, how to say this, that it is fulfilling are on, on their end. Either you or this person is feeling fulfilled um, with the Nine of Cups and the Page of Cups. Uh, meaning, um, their wish that, you know, that you wish probably that they can, there can be more, um, but you're wishing that also, like, it, you know, is this as good as it gets? A lot of emotional satisfaction that you're getting, yes. But there's the constant, um, you know, next step. Basically, because you you could be looking for the ten of cups, because this person is shopping over here, and the next part would be the ten of cups. Okay, let me see here. Next to the page of cups, we got a nine of swords. Okay, so there is the, that hesitation. There is that worry that I have um, that I was talking about. So you have a nine of swords and a nine of cups. Now, how it works with this is that. Sometimes you feel good about it. Sometimes you're not. Sometimes you're optimist. Sometimes you're pessimist, because there's polarity in the situation. They do give you that feeling. They do. They do give you that emotion. But there's something lacking. Okay, because this is during the day and this is during the night. So at daytime you're all good with them, and at nighttime you go into a mode, or they can go in a mode where they're thinking. It's like, what you know? What's wrong? Why we can't go to the next step? Why can't we go to the finality of the situation? That's a nine of swords. Let me see here, other person. Very two of pentacles because you know this has been ongoing. You know this has been you, the other person, juggling the situation. Like sometimes good, sometimes bad. That's what it is here. 
And with the Two of Pentacles, I feel, oh, if you hear the, the, the noise, it's because the ocean is behind me. Um, with the Two of Pentacles, you also see here as like, okay, the good and the bad, which one do I weigh? Which one do I quantify? I mean, because if this keeps going, what do I do? Because now you're in a crossroads. Do we go and be fulfilled with a 10? Or do we just stay here, keep coming back and forth with worry? Um, you know, with worry and fear and happiness sometimes, you know. This is really um, an energy of, uh, how to say this? I'm trying to break uh, break free from the crossroads which the Two of Pentacles has. So this can be an energy where it's like, th this is ever going to stop. Okay. Will we ever make a decision? Under the, t the Nine of Swords. You got here the Queen of Cups. You probably consulted a reader. You consulted some astrologer over here. With the energy of the Queen of Cups. This is um, an energy where you're trying to listen to your intuition. You're trying to listen to your feelings. And it keeps to... Um, to a point where, I mean, it gets to a point where the page, you're seeing there's a difference between how you guys are together. Like, you're a queen to them, meaning you're selfless, you know, you do everything for them, and then for, on their end, they have a certain limit. They can't go where you go, basically. Mm -hmm. Under the Knight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, let's see here. Guard the Seven of Pentacles. So you've been waiting. This is Saturn and Purva Ashada. So you've been waiting for this to come to fruition. And then, of course, with seven and two of pentacles, it's still going to go to nine of pentacles. Nine are all finality. Ten is the outcome. So will this story between the two of you ever end, progress, and reach to a ten, meaning... You have basically all the nine combinations over here. So, and also the seven of pentacles. You've been patiently, you know, patiently also listening to your intuition here. You have invested time with them. Is you, you know, this is you also consulting a tarot reader. It could be a tarot reader or astrologer also or metaphysical here. Crystals crying. You're asking someone, can be that. It's like, I've been waiting for this person for us to break free from, you know, a cycle that we've been going through in a crossroads to make a decision if it's going to move forward. This is where the problem starts. Okay? So I'm going to continue this reading. Aries, you can be connecting with a Cancerian. Um, you have here some, a bunch of earth sign, which we know it's like they're going to be, um, you know, how to, how to call this, um, lo loving their stability and just, look, all, all of it are just grabbing, holding on to it. Holding on to you can be an earth sign where they don't let go of you and then makes you feel like, you know, like this, paranoid and stuff. Okay? So, thank you very much, um, Aries, for watching. Now, oh, link down there also for the... Um, um, for the girl uh, girl oracle deck which we have just released I just don't have my coffee yet so that's why <laughs> and I'm waiting for coffee <laughs> that's why I didn't I wasn't able to prepare everything yet okay have a wonderful wonderful February 1 to 7 and then we'll see an extended read how this progress if you guys will, will be out of the waiting zone okay so meaning you're on the wait list all right have a wonderful wonderful day I'll see you again bye